Thank you.
Greetings, gorgeous ghouls and freaky fiends, and welcome to Movie Night with Madame Crufelli. <laughs> Bonjour, gorgeous ghouls and freaky fiends. In honor of Shark Week, Madame Cruffelli has asked me to fill in tonight. Our feature presentation of Killer Shark is about a teenager that joins his father on a shark hunting expedition and discovers the human predators are worse than these sharks. This should be interesting. Mr. Jeff, how much longer are we going to wait? Gotta wait until he gets here. But we lose a lot of money, Mr. Jeff. We've been waiting here for four days. By the time we get there, there won't be any sharks left. Don't worry about that, Joe. As long as there's a sea, there'll be plenty of sharks. But the price is very high now. Higher than it's been in six months. Because this is the best place to fish for sharks. Believe it or not, the other day I saw one almost that big. Nearly scared me to death. Don't make jokes, Ramon. Why aren't you out hunting sharks? Ask the captain. All right, I will. Captain, why are you still here? I'm waiting for someone. Who? Pignon, you ask too many questions. You talk like an old woman. Of course I ask questions. How else will I ever become a smart man? All right, all right. He's waiting for his son. Now, does that make you feel like a smart man? I didn't know you had a son, Captain. Is he the same age as me? <laughs> Not now, Pignon, but he was the last time I saw him. He hasn't seen his son for 12 years, so now when the price of sharks is very high, he can't wait another minute. He's got to see him right now. Where's the maestro? Don't ask stupid questions. Where do you think the maestro is? Drinking tequila at Pat's, I think. Here, Pignon, take this. Tell the maestro to come back on board, huh? Thank you very much, Captain. I tell him right away. Oh, I'm sorry, Pignon. Here, does that even us up? Thank you very much, Mr. McCann. OK, I got him. Hello. Hi, Jeff. Hey. Has that kid of yours gotten here yet? Not yet. Well, I wouldn't wait any longer if I were you. I just got a quote from the States. Shark livers are bringing 98 to 10. Yeah, that's a pretty fancy price. Come on aboard, I'll show you that new refrigerator. How's it working? Oh, great. You know, with that on board, I can... Oh, I can get at least 150 tins on. And at 98 a tin, why, well, that would be... Let me see. Yeah, here's uh, something else to work on. What's that? They have the refrigerating system. Well, they don't waste any time, do they? No, and you shouldn't either. Now watch yourself. No problem, boy. Okay. She is. Yeah, it's a beauty, Jeff. It ought to be for what I paid for it. Yeah, but a few good loads and we'll pay for itself. Oh, hey, Mac, do me a favor, will you? Write them a letter and tell them I'll send some money along as soon as I get back. Sure, Jeff. Oh, remember, when you do get back, I'll be anybody's top offer. Don't worry. You know you've always got my business. Of course I do. Hey, Patrick. Patrick. Give him some more, huh? Maestro, <laughs> go back to the boat. You've been here four days. I don't want to go back to the boat. I like tequila here much better. <laughs> Instead of tequila, why don't you let me fix you something to eat? What? Eat? <laughs> Bet you had very bad food here. Only good tequila. <laughs> okay, maestro. You win. Here. But I'm going to get some sleep. Oh, no, Patrick. When I drink tequila, I like company. Oh, this I don't understand. Why do you drink? All you do is throw tequila in that big fat face of yours and nothing ever happens. Plenty <laughs> It make my big fat stomach hot. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Hi, kid. Oh, Pignon. You like chocolate soda, huh? The captain wants you to come back to the boat. Oh. Good. His boy come? No, but he wants you to come back anyway. Oh, all right. Adios, Patrick. Adios. Adios, <laughs> Pignon. <laughs> hey, Patrick, when I come back, we're going to have a big party, huh? Oh, 
poquito por favor. Uh, hago usted uh, el, el... Can I help el... you, señor? Oh, excuse me. I, I, I was wondering if perhaps you knew where Captain Jeffrey White's boat was. Oh, seguro. Down this road to the deck, huh? huh? Un momento, muchacho. Estoy hablando con el señor. There you will see a boat called Sunrise, huh? That is where you will find Captain White. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, nice. Nice huh? This must be Captain White's son. No. Oh, 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 Edito. Welcome to Manzanilla, my boy. But, uh, how do you know my name? Well, your father is my very best friend, and Maestro is your father's very best friend. Oh, who's the Maestro? Oh, Teddy, you don't understand. No. I'm the cook, and your father is both. And always you call cooks Maestros. Now you understand, no? I think so. Teddy, would you do me a favor? I'll try. Let me drive your automobile, huh? Do you know how to drive? Why, well, sure. Okay, then. Thank you, Teddy. I never drive automobile before. Well, look, in that case, don't, don't you think it's better that I drive? drive, Maestro? You think? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid that my, my friend, the maestro, is a very affectionate man. Oh, uh, Ramon, Ted. Hi. Hi. Down on, Joe. How do you do? Hi. Right, now can we go? Uh, where's your suitcase? Uh, it's in the back of the car, Dad, but I won't need it till we get to your house. This is my house. You mean you, you live on the boat? Yes. I hope you're a good sailor. Well, what'll I do with the car? I'll leave it on the dock. I better put the top up. All right. Don't take care for his old man. I uh, no place on shark boat for a boy like that. Maybe you make better bait in the tuna. Hey, Pinion, you going home? Let me come with you, Ramon. Oh, you got to stay here and take care of Maria. Besides, one baby's enough. Okay. You better catch a lot of sharks, Ramon. Let her come. Here it is. Your bunk. You mean we, we won't sleep in here? Oh, sure, there isn't very much room on a shark boat, you know. You better get out of those clothes. We're going to be shoving off any minute. The boys are impatient. Why? Well, we should have left days ago. You see, the price of liver has never been as high as it is now. Liver? Yes. That's the only reason we hunt sharks, for the liver. Well, I've never heard of anyone eating shark liver. <laughs> Neither have I. It just happens that a couple of years ago, a bright young man discovered that shark liver was full of vitamin A, so... Mr. Jeff, we're ready to cast off. Okay, I'll be right with you. Ted, it's going to take us a little time to get to know one another again, so uh, let's kind of take it step by step, huh? Okay? Okay, Dad. All right. Oh, and as soon as you get out of those clothes, come up on deck. Uh, uh, Dad? Yeah? Uh, how long are we going to be gone? Oh, it's hard to say. Maybe a month, maybe two months. Oh, good. Sharks, you don't need tequila. Captain White's son, I hope you have a very successful trip. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder what's taking Ted so long. He got sick. Go down and see what's keeping him, will you? Oh, no. 
the only clothes you got, Ted? Why, yeah, Dad. Well, they're very nice, but uh, I don't think you're going to have a chance to play much tennis before we get back. Come on. See if you can fix it up in some of your clothes. You two are about the same size. Okay, come on. Sure. I'm sure it will. Thank you very much. Oh, forget it. Say, Ted, how come you haven't seen your old man in such a long time? I'm sorry, Ramon, but well, I don't think that's any of your business. Well, with those clothes, you look like the real McCoy. Uh, try your hand at the wheel. Thanks, Dad. It's a little rough. Of course, it's north. What do you intend to do when you get out of college? Gee, I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Why don't you come down here with me? I'll give you a half interest in the boat. I really like this sort of life, Dad. Oh, I love it. Don't you ever get lonely? Lonely? Well, I've got more friends in Manzanilla than I ever had before in my life. Do you really call these people friends? The best you can find. You know, Ted, you sound a little bit like a snob. Oh, forget it. Before you get back to the States, you'll feel the same way I do about it. Uh, how, how'd you ever happen to come down here, Dad? out of just plain boredom. You know, before your mother and I were separated, I used to spend 50 weeks a year behind a desk in an office doing things I hated to do, just so I could get off to go fishing for two weeks to forget the other 50. <laughs> However, you didn't come down here to hear me philosophize. Why don't you find Ramon? Tell him to take a break and show you around the boat. OK, then. Oh, uh, by the way, the horse is north. North it is, sir. <laughs> but the most important thing to remember is to be very friendly with Gano here. Because if Gano doesn't like you, he might make a little mistake while he's stringing up this hook line. And suddenly, when you're letting the line out, the big hook catches you in the back and pitches you overboard for shark bait. <laughs> Gano and I have always been good friends, haven't we? How do you know when there are any sharks around? Well, we all take turns up in the crow's nest watching for them. Hey, that's pretty high. Nah. Go on up and try it. Oh, no thanks. I'll stay right here. What's the matter? You afraid? Of course not. Then go on up. You shouldn't have done that, Ramon. What not? Told me his dad wanted to learn everything about shark fishing. Get dizzy and pull off. Maybe shark catch him. What the devil did you 
go up there for? Just looking to see if I can see any sharks. Huh? You can see everything that's necessary right down here on deck. And Ramon, don't play any more games. Matter, kid. Homesick? No, Dan. It's just that. Just what? Oh, nothing. Good night. Excuse me. on deck. We've just run into a school of tuna. We're pulling them in hand over fist. I thought we were hunting sharks, not tuna. Well, we are, but we use the tuna for bait. Come on. You'll never see anything like this in college. Come on. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I... What for? I went back to sleep this morning. Oh, that's all right. I sure started off on the wrong foot. Forget it, kid. I guess you're sorry you even came down here, huh? No, I'm not. Good. You know, we'll be running into some sharks pretty soon. How do you know? I can smell them. Here. Take a look for yourself. Maestro had to drive out of Mobile, huh? Here, take this. It's good. Sharks! Oh, sharks! Ah, Teddy! It's all right, all right, sir. Anybody want to work now? Come on, my boy. Let's go to work. <laughs> hey, Ted! Come on up here.
One of the boys is loose. Get out and give Ramon a hand. Yeah. You bet, Dad. Hey, Ramon. Let me go with you. Ah, you better stay here, kids. Oh, come on. Dad told me to help you. Okay. All right. Ramon. Pretty bad, Mr. Jack. Chucks take a big piece out of both of you. We better head back to Manzanillas, don't you think? No. No, we don't go back. The doctor in Manzanillas know better than Joe Organo. We don't go back until this boat's full of shark livers. You heard what he said? Get up on deck and start cutting those sharks. We better go back. Stop talking, Maestro. Go up on deck and start pulling in those sharks. All right. Dad, I... Dad. When you hunt for sharks, you've got to expect these things to happen. Please head back to Manzanilla. No. I'm sorry to tell you. Your old man is not very wealthy. We need this catch. You better go on deck and see if you can help the boys.
better get below before you fall overboard. Somebody else loses a leg. Hey, Dad! Come on, we need a little help here. I know thanks, kid. It's helped us enough already. Back to Manzanilla. We're not headed back until we're loaded up with liver. Look, my dad gave me half share in this boat, and I say we're heading back so they can be taken care of by a doctor. What are we supposed to live on if we go back with an empty hold? Don't worry, you'll be paid. You got money, Teddy? No. But I'll get it out. That's my problem. Okay, we go back. some more hot water. I'll carry it in for you, Maria. I'll do it. You'd probably drop it. Thank you, Maria. What do you want, Ramon? I think now would be a very good time for some of that tequila. I'll get it for you right away. There's no sense waiting here. We're just in the way. We can do nothing. Where we go? We got no money. I don't care where we go, but let's get out of here. That makes me sick. Maybe some boats come in at harbor. We can get jobs. There are no boats in harbor. How you know? I know. Come on, I show you. So? You, you don't know how awful Oh, I cut did. it out. It wasn't your fault. You know, I've always believed that everything that happens has been planned away in advance. Nothing that you and I can do would alter it. How's Ramon? Oh, he's asleep now, but he, he's doing fine. I'm not asleep, and I'm not doing fine. I'm hungry. Maria! Maria! Get me something Oh, to eat. I didn't know you were awake, Captain White. Would you like something to eat, too? Why, yes. Thank you, Maria. Good. I'll fix it for you right away. Ted. Yeah, Dad. Where are the boys? Uh, they're down at the harbor, I think. Has Mac been around? Yeah, but you were asleep. Oh. Would you drive down and get him? I, I want to talk to him. Sure, Dad. Maria, it seems to me that in... Do you want something, Master White? Good morning, Maria. Why do you treat the boy so badly? What do you expect me to do? Kiss him? What's the matter with you? Accidents will happen. Don't you think he feels badly enough about it? All right, but he had no business turning the sun rays back empty. Believe me, Maria. If Ted hadn't made them come back to Manzanillo right after the accident, you wouldn't be taking care of the captain. You'll be attending his funeral. 
and probably Ramon. Maestro, what are we going to do? Where are we going to get some money? Yeah, this is very serious. Let me think. Hey, Patrick, would you be so kind to trust your very good friends, Gano, Joe, and the Maestro, and give us some tequila? Huh? Sure, Maestro. You know, I feel just as bad as you fellas do about Captain White and Ramon. It was awful. Hey, Pat! Hello. <laughs> Hello, Captain. Howdy. We bring you lots of business. I see you had a very successful trip. Very successful. We won't go out again for three, maybe four months. Not until all this beautiful money is gone. Say, Pat, can't you knock some sense into these customers of yours? They go out with me again, they'd have twice that much money. But, Captain, we don't need any more money. This is plenty. Hey, Gano, did you have a good trip, too? Oh, no. Very bad. Captain White and Ramon, a very bad accident. Shark take off half of Mr. Jeff's leg. I'm sorry to hear about that. Then you three fellas must be pretty broke then. We don't have a single vessel. Why don't you go out with me? When? As soon as I can get provisions aboard. What do you say? Oh, no, I'm sorry, Captain. We can't go out with anyone. Mr. Jeff. Well, Mr. Jeff won't be able to go out for a long time. Wait a minute, Captain. We go with you if you give a full share to Captain White and Ramon. Why should I give them anything? Because if you don't, you don't get crew. Okay, it's a deal. Shake. <laughs> no, no shake. Drink. Pat, set him up over here. <laughs> it's about time you woke up. How's the leg, Ramon? Doing much better, thanks, Mac. Good. And how about you, Jeff? Well, the, the part that's missing feels great. <laughs> sit down, Mac. It's all right, sit down. You know, what I wanted to... Oh, Ted. Um... Yes, Dan? I want to talk a little business with Mac, so why don't you go out and see the sights of Manzanilla? Do you want anything? No, not a thing. Thank you. Okay, Dad. Ted, I... Maria, before you say anything, let's get one thing straight. I don't enjoy being around you any more than you enjoy being around me. But as soon as I'm certain that Dad's going to be well, I'm going back to the States. And believe me, I won't miss seeing your unfriendly face or hearing your sarcastic voice. Now, what's on your mind? I was going to ask you if you'd like to go swimming. You were? Yes. I was. You can see the spot I'm in. Well, I'm afraid you're really stuck. What's wrong, Mr. Jeff? Why, the, the people that I bought that refrigeration equipment from seem to have the silly idea they should get paid for it. You suppose, Mac, if you gave them a little more hearts and flowers that we might get a couple of months extension? Not a chance. Well, what do you suggest I do? There's only one thing you can do. What is it? Captain White is going to sell us sun rays. How do you know? I heard him talking to Mr. McCann. Oh, fine. <laughs> well, I certainly fixed up everything up just great. My trip to Mexico has certainly been a howling success. Stop that. That kind of talk isn't going to do any good. What is going to do any good? I don't know, but there must be something we can do. Why don't we have a talk with Mr. McCann? He's one of Dad's oldest friends. If he could do anything, he would. Suppose you're right. I know what we can do. What? Take the sun rays out and fill it up with shark livers. Then everything would be okay. Yes, but we would have to have a crew. I would be a very good shark fisherman. Hey, maybe Pinion has something there. Why, if we could get Joe and, and the maestro and... Oh, even if we could, it wouldn't do any good. Why not? A little thing called money. You could always sell your car. The car doesn't belong to me. It belongs to my mother. Never mind. You get the crew. I'll take care of the rest. But where would you get money for everything, Maria? Never mind. I'll get it. 
So she says, don't give him the medal. <laughs> <laughs> You're Pat, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. Well, my name's Ted White. I was Welcome to Pat's. Oh, thank you very much. What are you drinking? Uh, nothing, thanks. Look, I, I was wondering if you knew where I could find my father's crew. Well, if you want to talk to them, I think you're a little late. What do you mean? Well, they just pulled out of the harbor with Captain Hansen's boat. Something wrong? Pat, do you know where I could get a crew together? No, there, there's not a crew to be had in all of Manzanillo. Uh, do you think any of these men would go? Well, now all I have money in their pocket. Hey. I know where you can get a crew, and a captain, too. You do where? Down at Perego's. You can always get a crew at Perego's. Well, where's Perego's? That's the other side of the harbor. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Pat. Good luck. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Garcia? Sending Captain White's son down to that bunch of cutthroats? But, Pat, he says he wants a crew. <laughs> you can always get a crew at Perego's. Yeah. I was told I might be able to find a crew here who'd be willing to go out for sharks. Is that so? Who told you that? Well, I can't remember the man's name. Oh. Hey, Bracado. Any of you guys want to go out for sharks? Who wants to know? The kid here. Well, what's your pay, kid? Well, the, the, the usual. Uh, my name's White. Usual, huh? How much would the usual be? Well, frankly, I, I don't know. But I pay very well. When do you want to leave? Right away. Look, kid, I tell you. You tell me how much you want to pay, then I tell you if we want to go. Well, I, I really Maybe don't Maybe I know can what... help you, son. The owner of the boat usually takes half the catch, and the crew splits the other half between them. Well, that sounds like a pretty fair deal to me. And how does it sound to you, Bricardo? It sounds like I don't go out for shocks. Two cards, please. Listen, Bricardo. Here, I want to talk to you. What do you mean? I think I can persuade him. Uh, sit down. Since when you handled my business for me? Shh, not so loud. Ricardo, you disappoint me. If I hadn't been here, you'd have turned on a very profitable business deal. What's so profitable about that deal? You've got a very bad memory. Oh? Oh, I... Okay, kid. It's a deal. We leave tonight at 8. Couldn't we leave any sooner? No, no. We've got lots of preparation to make. Okay. Thank you very much. That's all right. Glad to be of help, son. Thanks. Uh, so long. Brigo. Five more beers. On Mr. Slattery. <laughs> Hello, Maria. Hello, Pat. What are you doing here? Master Joe Angano told me to come see you. See me? What for? They didn't tell you. No, 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 they didn't. Well, Pat. Ramon has taken a very bad turn for the worse. And the doctor says he must have a specialist lie down here right away from San Diego. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that about Ramon and Maria, but what's a specialist guy got to do with me? Well, we have no money, and the maestro Gano and Joe said that you will give me the money and they will pay you back. Yes, but when? They just left with Captain Hansen. Oh, well, they said they'd pay you back as soon as they get back. Well, they shouldn't have told you that, Maria. You know, money's awfully hard to get these days. Don't you trust them, Pat? Well, uh, if they'd sign one of these... Well, I will sign for them. That would be all right, won't it? How much do they want? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars? Airplanes well, I... are very expensive. I will sign. Now, don't you owe me something? Thank you, Pat. I just can't leave Dad like this. You can't tell him you're going to take the sunrise out or he wouldn't let you go. 
Here they come. For a while, I thought you changed your mind, Mr. Ricardo. Louis Ricardo never changed his mind. Did the girl go with us? She was just leaving. Get this stop moving, Chauncey. You ready to cast off, Tony? Goodbye, Maria. Don't go, Tony. Take good care of Dad. I will. I, uh, I guess we ought to be seeing some sharks pretty soon. I, I said we ought to... I heard what you said. Hey, I wouldn't do that, Jonesy. What do you mean? You gotta have a few laughs. Here, you try it. I think this is a shooting gallery. I was just trying to hit a pelican. I don't think that was necessary. I do. Well, if it was my kid, I'd forget he was alive. It's hard to believe. He'd go back home without saying goodbye. He did it, didn't he? So forgetting me isn't worth worrying about. Don't talk that way about Teddy. He didn't run away. He... He what? I can't tell you, Captain White. I promised. You tell Mr. Jeff. But Ramon... Tell him. Teddy took the sunrise out to hunt sharks. He what? But who did he take with him? I don't know. He must have gotten the maestro and the boys. They haven't been around here lately either. Little son of a gun. Hey, kid. Tell Tony I want to see you. Hey, what are you doing with my father's things? Go away. Your old man has a lot of things I need more than he does. Get away from there. Go away, Sonny, before you get hurt. Probably still sleeping in his bunk. Better go get him. Whenever a guy misses a meal, he really gets mean. Go get him. Kid? I'm worried about you. You look white as a ghost. I... 
I don't I don't feel very well. I I think I'll go out on deck and get a breath of air. Oh no, you better not do that. You might pass out and fall overboard. Hey, Tony. What's happened to you? I fell out of my bunk and hit my head against this. Oh, that's a bad knock. You better put something on it. I wiped with salt water. It'll be okay. You guys better be careful when you're sleeping around this boat. You're liable to fall on one of these. A thing like that could kill a guy. Stay up here. Look like you're frozen to death. I was just going to do that, Jonesy. sleep yet. <laughs> Come on, get up there before we run into something. Well, Georgie, I'll tell you I haven't had a wink of sleep. Pipe down, Tony. Get up on that wheel. Greetings, gorgeous ghouls and freaky fiends. I'm Madame Crufelli, the undead fortune teller, and today I have a fortune for you. I foresee you visiting MadameCrufelli.com and purchasing a unique, personalized video message for yourself, your loved ones, or not so loved ones, from yours truly, Madame Crufelli, the undead fortune teller. Be sure to book your personalized video now because slots are filling up quickly. See you soon. Hi, Pat. Where are all the customers? All my best drinkers are out shark fishing. Well, I'll help you out. Let's have a beer. There's not much profit in beer. Okay, give me a ginger ale. I'll give you a beer. <laughs> How's Captain White and Roman? Fine, except Jeff is worried to death about that kid of his. Uh, it was all Garcia's fault. 
What are you talking about? Well, it was Garcia who told me to get a crew down at Perego's. Perego's? Why didn't you tell me this before? You didn't ask me. Hey, Matt, you forgot to pay for the... I should have given ginger ale. Pat should have stopped him. He knows the kind of crews that you get at Perego's. There isn't a captain in all Manzanilla that will let any of that scum put a foot on his deck. Well, it was too late to do anything about it now. We'll just have to wait. Yes? Maria. Go down and get Pat. Tell him I want to talk to him. Blasting Pat isn't going to make you feel any better. Oh, I suppose not. Captain White, Pat isn't the only one who did wrong. I think I did wrong, too. What do you mean? I helped him get the provisions, but I didn't know who was going with him. Well, you should have told me before. I could have stopped him. That's why I didn't tell you. He wanted so badly to make up for all the trouble he'd caused. Oh, give me a cigarette, will you, Mac? Soon the sharks be popping on deck like sardines. start back for Manzanilla pretty soon, can't we? Yeah, kid. We got all this stuff can hold. I... I'm awfully sorry about Louis. Why? It makes more money for us to split up. You look pretty tired, kid. Why don't you go catch a nap? Oh, no, I... I'm fine. Oh, go on. Get some sleep. You don't have to worry about Tony anymore. I'll talk to him. You don't think I believe that story about falling out of the bunk, do you? I still wish it had been the sun rays. Hi. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Oh, well, hello, Pignon. Mr. McCann. Hi, Maestro. Hi, your brother and Mr. Jeff. They're coming along very well, Maestro. Did you catch many sharks? Well, we Maestro, do pretty good. Did you run across the sun rays while you were out? Who took the sun rays out? Ted. Ted? I better have a drink of tequila. Hello, Patrick. <laughs> Hello, Maestro. Hello. How am I glad to see you? Hey. 
We don't forget you give us our free drinks. That's for you. Wait a minute. You guys don't drink in Pat Sullivan's until you pay me what you owe me. We don't owe you anything. Oh, yes, you do. Here. Each one of you owe me $100. What? I don't sign this. We know nothing about You're this. You're crazy. No, but Maria did, and I gave her the $300. Until I get my dough back, nobody drinks tequila here. I drink my tequila someplace else. Me too. Oh, sure. Okay. Here's my $100. Uh-oh. But this leads very little from Maestro. Oh, well. Set him up, huh? Hey, Jonesy. How much money do you think we'll make on the livers? I don't know, Ted. But don't count on anything when the money's in your hand. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget it. Hello, Mr. Ricardo. What are you looking for? Hello, kid. Well, it looks like we'll be at Manzanilla this time tomorrow. Oh, good. It can't be too soon for me. Say, uh, Tony hasn't been bothering you again, has he? No, but thanks to you. Well, uh, excuse me. Hey, uh, Bricotta, we got engine trouble. Already? Hey, kid, uh, you wouldn't mind doing me a favor, huh? Oh, what? Clean up the dishes for us? Sure, I'd be glad to. What are we going to do about the kid? I'll go down and sing him to sleep. Let me take care of him. I don't want a stiff on our hands. You sleep. You fix the engine trouble. Sure, sure. It's raw outside. I think I have some more coffee. How about you, kid? No, thanks. Oh, come on. Warm you up. Okay. Close the door, will you, kid? Sure. Thank you. Cream? Thanks. Sugar? Sure. Help yourself. Okay. Tell me, kid. What are you going to do with all the money you make? I'm going to give it to my dad. That's a good boy. He's hoping we get top price. That was a toast. Bottoms up. You want to see how the fishermen do it? Oh, sure. Stand up. Come on. Wash your arms. Like that? Drink. Who? Come to the cabin. There's something I want to show you. Gee, I feel sleepy. Why don't you go sit on your bunk? I'll find it in a minute. Something happened to the refrigerator system. All the livers turned bad, so we had to throw them overboard last night. I didn't have the heart to tell you. You mean, then, then, then the trip's wasted? I'm afraid so, kid. You're lying. What did you do with the heart? Tony, what you hit the kid for? He couldn't hurt me. But he called you a liar. He was right. Come on, get going. Trip? Ted, please tell me what's the matter. I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Where are you going? Ted, please tell me what happened and where are you going? 
I'd been given knockout drops, clouded on the jaw, had an entire load of shark liver stolen from me. Now I'm going to do something about it. Is everything clear? No, I still don't know where you're going. I'm on my way to Parego's. Ted, you can't go to Parego's alone. Why not? Got a lot of friends that hang out there. Goodbye, Maria. Give those keys back to me. No, I won't. All right, then I'll walk. Ted! Maestro, come with me quick. Hello there, Maria. You old Maestro, $100. Maestro, we haven't got time to talk about that. This is important. So it's $100. Now we buy plenty of tequila. Maestro, Ted is in trouble. Oh, can he come back? Oh, now yes. you I will go. Hurry before it's too late. Okay. I'll see you later, Patrick. Oh, Teddy, Teddy, you almost make a very big mistake. Hello, Maestro, <laughs> what do you mean? Well, Maria just told me that you are going to a party at Perregos without inviting any of your friends, Teddy. It's no good. You know you have a lot of good friends in Manzanilla who love to go to a party. <laughs> okay, Maestro, I apologize. You're all invited, uh, except Maria. Of course. This is party for men only. Eh? I'm sorry, Bonita. This one gives you cut and pick up. Right. Right. amigos, oh. huh? Oh. And we have a time. Oh, Mr. Mack, how much are you paying for labors? Now? 86 uh -huh. bucks a ten. Oh, but these were very special labors. The most worth 125, I should think. Huh? <laughs> I think so, Maestro. <laughs> Where is the money? Huh? <laughs> oh, here they are. Huh. Huh? Funny. It comes exactly right. Oh. <laughs> here, Teddy. You are now a very successful fisherman. Oh, well, thank you, Maestro. <laughs> Mr. McCann, will you take care of the boat with this? It'll be a pleasure, Ted. I don't know how I can thank all of you for everything that you've done. I know how you thank me, Teddy. Let me drive your car out, please. Oh, oh okay, okay. I'll, I'll think about it. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, just a minute, I'll do that. Wow, I don't well, let's not wait another 12 years before we see one another again. Not a chance, Dad. But when I finish school, I'm coming back. We've got that partnership. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. So long, kid. You know how badly I... Oh, forget it. 
Getting to know you is worth losing two eggs. Bye, Gatto. Bye, Ramon. Bye, Joe. Yo. Maestro. Dad, I, I better hug you. I don't want to hurt the maestro's feelings. <laughs> Take care of yourself. I was going to have another drink of tequila. Good. I'll have one with you. He's a good kid. <laughs> Bye, Pinion. Thanks for swiping the key, Maria. I should have thrown it away. Goodbye. So long. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to stab that subscribe button and slash that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. See you soon.